guys welcome back to my channel so your baby girl is feeling herself to put together this Nigerian traditional bridal look so without further ado if you're not part of my family the art squad I haven't said that in a while subscribe down below give me a big thumbs up if you love this look and let us just go into the video because ha, feeling it so heavily so heavily fill in this look even though it took me so long to record so because i'm starting off with my eye makeup first i like to set my brows so i'm gonna brush them up first i'm gonna set my brows so that the brow powder really stays on i'm just gonna put some powder what i'm gonna do is use my anastasia brow palette and i use the color medium brown the darker color right here i'm going to use that to kind of draw out my brows I'm going to be doing my brows a little bit more heavy just because I see that that's basically the Nigerian bridal look. So just letting you guys know ahead of time. I'm going to be using my KKW concealer because I've noticed that it's very light and I kind of need that light base. Use like a nice dense brush to just blend this all out by patting. So I'm basically done with the blending. Now I'm going to immediately set it. So I'm going to set it with my Laura Mercier. So I'm just going to pat again just to make sure there are no creases. So after it's set, I have a nice clean base cooking. Now it's time for eyeshadow blending. So KKW Mario palette to blend because I have some nice transition colors I want to transition. What I'm gonna do with Albanian is put it in my crease, basically pack it in my crease well. So pa really pack it in my crease. So like it will be a harsh line. Packing as much color as I can. Use just a small brush. Take the color Miami, which is like a nice transition color. And I'm going to use a small brush to just blend the edges of that red that we've packed on. So you can see there's a difference between this eye and this eye. Very harsh, very smoky and blended. So we've blended that. Now we're gonna use that same brush to blend out this side. I'm gonna use that same brush. This is actually, sorry guys, I think I should start telling you guys the names of the brushes so that you guys actually know what I'm doing. This is the Sigma Diffuse Crease E38 brush and I'm using that same orange russet color from that palette to just pack it again in that same area and blend it. So I'm really just building up that color. Now I'm going to use the brown color in the palette to start darkening the outer crease area. Put that on and halfway. Packing that on and halfway. So you want to make sure you have like several different brushes when it comes to eyeshadow blending because you don't want the colors to start getting muddy. So with this color now, I'm going to use that russet color to lightly blend it out, blend the edges of the brown. Darker brown, I'm going to use Brownie Bite, which has become one of my favorite colors from the BH Cosmetic and it's my Riri palette. And I'm just going to use this to darken my outer corner even further. Now we're gonna go in with black because black makes everything smoky. I don't know what the heck that accent was. Smashbox Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio in Total Scene. So I'm gonna use that black, which is a very nice matte black, to go on the outer corner of my eye and really pack on that black.
is the KKW Concealer in number 11 again. The same one I used for my eyeshadow base to cut my crease. It took me way too long to complete that cut crease. It was scary. I used the Deck of Scarlet eyeshadow in Kelly. And I'm gonna use that same brush I used for my concealer. Really rub it into Kelly. <laughs> that did not sound right. Using the eyeshadow to set the concealer. Uh, when I know that I don't really have to be neat, I kind of go all out. So yeah, there is a lot of fallout on my face, so I'm just going to clean it off. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's so pretty. Wow, this is an art, man. I should have been taking all this spots a while. So my head tie is done, now I'm gonna move on to my face. I also had to put my lashes on. My new favorite, Marc Jacobs Foundation in white, tan white 480. I'm gonna use this all over my face. I'm going to be mixing the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and the KKW Beauty Concealer in 11. So both of these combined. I'm going to use the contour kit from ABH. It's in Tam to Deep. Just going to use, I basically just use the brush to just go over all of it and then use that to warm up my skin. I'm going to brush off all that powder. I always use my Makeup Addiction Precision Highlighter Brush. I've noticed that I really like this brush for just brushing off powder. So I'm just gonna use that to brush off the powder on my face. I'm gonna use my Dark Deepest Mineralized Skin Finish to just make sure that my whole face is kind of blended in. Just gonna bake my nose <laughs> just because I feel like I want a little bit of extra nose contour because you know nose contours are always very needed and I'm gonna move on to my lips so I'm gonna use the Ruby Kisses perfect precision lip liner Owls Cosmetics which is a Nigerian brand I'm going to use the Towel Cosmetics Lulua Liquid Lipstick. I'm 
Use the Marmade Marmadescu, wow. Marmadescu rose water to spray my face. I got my Dose of Colors Marame highlight back and this is the first day I'm gonna use it after I bought it. My BH Cosmetics and Ray Ray brush in number five and I'm just going to dip into this highlighter. <laughs> I'm back. Goodness, guys. Okay, now let me just chill because I have the tendency to over highlight. Mm. So, you don't think I look pretty? You look pretty. You look really sweet. You look good. You need a kiss. <laughs> See, I finish yourself now. I guess. Couture La Peach. I usually put it on top of it, so let's do that. Let's first spray our brush. Beaming or not. I forget I need a little bit of lava in my life. You know what I mean? So I gotta put some lava on. Oh, mm. yeah. Okay. Oh, lava us up because our shoulders are showing and we gotta be a bride. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? I have my earrings on, my necklace on. I'm feeling like a bride. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is basically the final look. I'm really feeling very bridal and I'm really excited. I really appreciate sticking you guys sticking to the end. And if you haven't already, subscribe and comment down below what you love most about this tutorial. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial because baby girl is feeling on and popping.